back with Ellie. I'm stressing again, you guys, for thinking bigger picture. What I'm thinking of right now is that I don't need the dog to heal and stay and do all these things at one time. The only thing I'm really thinking now is I want to be able to know that I can reliably get this dog to come with me when I need it to. So, you know, Ellie's about eight months old now. Yeah, any, any of these could be farther along, you guys, but we got a few other things to do during the day. So, anyway, all right, so I'm going to start the pager slightly before. This is something you guys need to get in the habit with, too. There's some kook left some message uh, that they worked with the top Schutzen trainer and that we should give the command, and then when the dog doesn't do it, then we should hit the collar. Oy vey. Um, so, remember, I'm starting the pager slightly before. I'm having the dog use this as a cue. And you're going to see, if, if my timing is off, I mean, everything is going to kind of get off. That's kind of where people run into a problem. I mean, because if your timing is bad, the collar is an amplifier, so it's going to amplify your bad timing. All right, but I'm going to help you guys with that. So you're going to start your pager slightly before. I want the dog to know what's going to happen. I want him to know that he's going to get the treats. I want him to link the treats and the collar together, you know, on that subliminal level. Elliot, heal. So do you see how I said the whole command before I ever even moved? Heal. I didn't take a step forward at all. What it did, down, no, down. Good. Wonder, 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 wonder. Kind of started to fudge around right there. What I didn't do right there, you guys, was hit the nick. Not on this dog. You'd have to know him. He can't do anything normal. If you let him out of the cage, he has to shove the door then come running out, knock everything over here off, knock everything off, eat some of the food, cough the food all over the expanse of the garage, knock this over, and then jump at the door, and then run outside and proceed to start knocking everything outside down, including me. So, anyway. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to start my pitch. I'm going to do all this before I ever even go. We're going to say what we're getting ready to do, and that's what you guys need to have in your mind. I'm going to tell the dog what I'm getting ready to do, not start doing it and then tell the dog to do it. So, Elliot, heal. on me heal with that down a minute ago. Good. Good. What I don't want to do is repeat that. If I go back to the same spot, remember, I didn't have success right there, so I'm not going to go back to that same spot. Heal. I'm going to avoid that. to do it you guys but I'm gonna do it again and it's gonna work but you've got to be ready for that you guys what I don't want to do is go back to where I just where he just got hedgy and repeat my same thing we're gonna get this dog trained I've already told some, we've got him on like the one year plan a year from now he'll heal mark my words this dog will be trained heal Picture where the dog feels healed, I can be successful. And so, since I just had such a disaster right there getting him to go down, I'm not going to go back to that spot either. Heal. Bye.